Today, I'm presenting a, a adaptive card extension uh, about the planner tasks. So my name is Ijaz. I work for a company called Content and Cloud, and here's my Twitch friend, uh, uh, my personal blog URL. Uh, so the, the main idea basically is to, uh, about this uh, demo, is to show all the planner tasks from all user-associated planner plans. So for example, you, you could be part of different plans or on the panel plan so it could be a uh, different you're part of working on a different teams groups and you you know you're part of different panel plans so you want to have some consolidated view of all your plans in, in one place and this is where it's basically this idea came from so and also ability to uh, view your task a single task specific task and see uh, uh, whether is it like when is started, when is ending, and some you know description or etc. Some some other fields if you want to do display there, uh, and then ability to filter task as well based on the selected plans. And so this is where so you have a list of let's suppose you're part of ten plans, and then you use, you can see all of them, but you can also filter based on where you want which which plan you wanted to bring task from. So. And then, uh, so what I'm kind of highlights of this demo is I'm using primary text template. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Graph to get all my planner tasks. Uh, I'm using async dropdown property pane uh, to display all my uh, uh, plans, which I'm associated. Uh, and I will show you in a second uh, in a demo. And then uh, based on which our uh, ta plan or, and the task you click on, you go into detail and then you, uh, also ability to navigate into the planner of to that specific task as well. And so here is a repo where is this uh, the sample code is available. So if you go back to the demo, um, so so this is where is I'm in the preview mode in the mobile view. So here you could see is giving I'm basically displaying again showing all of my uh, uh, tasks from all plans. At the moment, that's where you can see all here. Uh, and at the moment, I have a one upcoming task and six overdue tasks. Because we have like a little limitation, we only have like two rows to display here. Uh, uh, you know, uh, might be some other uh, way to do add some more data here, but I was able to get only two rows to fill in. So that's why I was like upcoming only and overdue task. So if I click on, uh, on, on the actual card, it will give me some summary of uh, different types of tasks like upcoming overdue task in progress uh, and pending and completed tasks so here from you can basically navigate to individual uh, types of tasks let's suppose you want to see and you can see this this turning into red color it, when is overdue so this is also part of adaptive card uh, so if you click on the view of the overdue tasks and uh, what i'm bringing here is a name of the task uh, which plan this is belong to, what's the status uh, uh, on that task and the due date. And if the due date is passed, uh, then it will turn into red and then some description. And then uh, and then another is you, you have a list of tasks, basically. So this is a single adaptive card uh, where I'm, I'm basically looping through all the due tasks in here. And then if you click on the view planner here, it will open up this particular task right in the planner and then you can have further details there as well now so that was the so you can go back for clicking here you can you know vice versa you can see your other task here as well etc and you navigate to uh, uh you know you navigate into your planner as well directly from here now if i go uh to the desktop mode and I'll close the preview now, if I go and select this and click on go to the properties, if you can see here at the moment is all is bringing tasks from all of them, but this is where I'm. This is the select planner planner plan. You can select specific plan here. So uh, might be the company tools is the one you wanted to bring task from. So you can see is automatically replace the company tools and also only show you the task. Uh, which we wanted to show them. So if I and also vice versa, so if you go to the you know the next one, so you can see this. You you basically able to see only the tasks which are from the company tools. So that's also replicated here as well. So that that and you you can you can go into the further detail into uh, the each of them. So yeah, that was the demo. And now if we go back to the code uh, and how did I manage to do that? Um, 
So if I start from here uh, to my the main uh, the plan task adaptive card extension .ts file, uh, that's the main file when we started. And the first fall is I'm uh, I'm basically uh, initializing which uh, main card I'm going to use. So I've got planet main card view. So uh, I mean, this is like a more of a using those card where there's a main card view or where there's a quick view. So I'm using those as a naming convention. So that is easy to uh, use and navigate to in the code. So I'm using two quick views and one card view here. So in initialization on init function, I'm calling my all the uh, by default is getting all plans. Uh, which is my uh, graph service. So I'm getting all the plans uh, when, when it's first load. And then I have a, a property pane, which I'm using a, cust uh, a property pane async dropdown. So this is where basically I'm fetching. So based on you change your uh, selected plan, you go and get, it's going to go and get the plans for you and uh, display you in there. So right at this point, this is what we, we get. And then what we do is, uh, and the default one is we're using uh, the primary one, um, render card is a main card view. So if I go to the main card view one uh, here, so here we have, if the do task is less than zero, uh, for some reason something goes wrong, it will show you this task. It says it's still loading planet tasks, et cetera, some images with SVG. Uh, but if it's not, if we have some task from the uh, loaded from the graph, then you will see some upcoming and overdue tasks, uh, and vice versa. So this is the two options you saw uh, early on uh, when the page loaded. So now, now when we click on them, because we have a button here, so when we click on them, what I'm doing is I'm pl calling planet tasks types quickly. So where is going to show us the types of so. Now, the, the reason why I was mentioning about the naming convention, so easy for me now here is to looking at this, I can easily go to the task types view here. So, and I can go to the class actual, and here I'm building um, uh, the types I have. So this could be some dynamic, but at the moment uh, for the sake of demo, I've just added like a five or six types of uh, a task I wanted to see and use the different icons based on the type of task they are. Now. It, the, if you see the task, I'm based on the, I'm getting the count. So I already have a task because when we, uh, the good thing with this is we, because once we have once loaded the data, is state is available across all of these classes. So I'm using the same task, which has been populated initially on first load. So here I'm basically filtering based on uh, the number of count based on the types uh, we are in. So, and on click, so what I'm doing is I'm calling. Uh, so if I open up quickly the JSON uh, adaptive card, so I'm passing this array uh, task types here into data, and I'm basically doing displaying the icon and then uh, the type, the date, uh, the due date, and uh, and and also the action as well. So that if you see here, I'm using text uh, text uh, rich text block here for. Uh, I think there was a, a. I was only able to use this text run to be able to get uh, some colors applied into the color. I think there was a bug initially, so I think they might have been fixed. So, uh, but yeah, I've used this one to apply some coloring uh, based on the logic and based on the count. Uh, but then here is the main thing: is where we are passing in the action the ID. Basically, the ID based on when they click, they will be passing this as ID. And this guy will come here, and this is the ID. Basically, we're setting the selected type. Now, when we go to the quick view, and this is the state is there is a selected type. And now I can go to list quick view, which will be this list view. And there is the based on the selected state on the previous uh, class. I can then filter task based on where uh, you know the, the selected is a due, overdue, in progress, etc. And then I'm going to display, pass this data to the list view, my other adaptive card. And uh, if you can see here, it's basically, this is the task I'm passing this data and I'm building this all items uh, underneath in the in the loop, basically. Uh, so I have a column set, uh, um, two, three, four columns there. So I have a four column set. And because I think for one, four uh, title, uh, and this is the title. Another one is the, the plan. 
uh, and then the status and the due date, et cetera, as well. So yeah, so this is the, when you can see here, uh, so this is the types, and then when you go inside, um, let's say in here, and this is where it's building this template from there. Yeah, so apart from that, so if you want to go to uh, controls, so you would see uh, there's a lot of uh, there's nice documentation on the Microsoft uh, document uh, documents about the property pane async. So I'll follow that, and so it's just uh, uh, property async drop down code. All the code is here as well, uh, which we I'm calling from my property pane. Um, and here is my graph service, which is really simple, simple one. I'm not using the user profile, but I'm using get plan, planner plans, get planner tasks, get all tasks, get plan info, and this is the get query, which I'm, you know, building the query and passing to this this guy, and it's basically returning me the data. So yeah, that's that's all me. Uh, that's all uh, from me. If you guys have any question. Awesome, EJ. It's very, very cool. It's really, really uh, encouraging in to see all the different use cases that the adaptive cards are getting uh, utilized for some creative stuff. So well done there. The link is in the chat for those that would like to check it out. It's also in our ACES repository, so you can always visit there. Thanks again, EJ. Great job. Thank you again for sharing. Thank you.